helps support our coverage using Blueberry, the community that gives creators the ability to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get 30 days to try out the service using promo code BLUEBERRY004. That's B-L-U-B-R-R-Y-004. Hi, go ahead and introduce yourself and your company and tell us what you're doing here at CES. Okay, hi. Nice yeah. to be here. Yeah, thank you. Uh, my name is Judith Baumgarten and I'm from Fraunhofer FEP. We are a uh, research and development institution in uh, Dresden in Germany. And we are showing here our micro displays for AR and VR applications. I've brought some small little cap here. Don't know whether we have a cam to show. Well, we've got a got the ability to, to show the show the hat. So what it looks like from here is just looks like a hat, but you've got a you've got a camera here on, on the bottom of it, and that's not too intrusive. So yeah. tell me the app. What are we doing with the applications with this? Yeah, for example, we can use it for for sports applications. So let's say a navigation app that you can see or um, for vital signs for your heart rate for example if you're jogging around sure so then you can see there your your vital signs the uh, length that you have jogged so far and stuff and you can also use the display for other applications in combination with an um, th thermal sensor for example you can have a thermal imager here such a device. So these are just uh, standard thermal integers, and these are being used for security, or what are the what are your current for, use cases for, for these? For different applications, so, so you can use it for for medical application, for remote uh, fever sensing, okay. for example, or for firefighters so that they can see. Okay, here are the uh, heat sources, yep. so that they are warned to, to or that they know where they need to go and uh, other applications as well. You know, it's interesting. I used to travel to Japan a lot, and as you were heading towards immigration, they'd have a camera pointed at everybody and a gal sitting at a table, and if she was looking for anyone with a temperature, <laughs> <laughs> and if anyone had a temperature, you got yeah. pulled aside for a medical clearing. Yeah. So, uh, and I'm sure probably for businesses now and making sure employee health is safe with COVID and everything, it's going on probably there's more someone's running a fever maybe they should 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 have stayed home that day so it'd be a way to to see if you have a, a healthy workforce too yeah for example it was a project we had until covid and we introduced this demonstrator in this time okay what else are the other devices you have for, oh, for us? Just, just my, okay, my sorry. personal <laughs> belongings. Um, we have different different micro displays here with us at our booth in uh, Hall D at uh, the German Pavilion. You were s mentioned that you're doing VR work. So talk about the VR work you're doing. So we are mainly producing the, the micro displays that are uh, used in VR headsets. Okay. So you can uh, have an... Yeah, rather high frame rate, so you, you need a high refresh rate. Yeah, rest, when you're moving your head, you need to ensure that the image is um, changing Seamless, fast yeah. enough so that, so that you doesn't, don't get dizzy. What is the typical frame rate they're using in VR headsets? Uh, 120 hertz, 120. For example. Yeah, yeah, so, and most people's monitors are either 30 or 60, so that tells yeah. you the difference of the, of the refresh rate, because it's true, if you turn your head, it has to stay seamless or else there's a blurred line or something and it's not as a good of an experience. Yep. So is this the, is, are these the new products then for this year or is this, it looks to me like maybe this is still a prototype? Yeah. So, so we are a research and development institution. So we are oh, just awesome. uh, pro, uh, showing demonstrators here and looking for partners that are using our micro displays and, and integrate them into their products. So, so uh, you know, we have research labs here in the United States as well. So is this similar type of an arrangement in Germany where you've come up with all these great ideas and, and innovation and then look for partners to do the integrations with, right? Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, that's the best way. It's, that's fun work to do because you get to go out there and do kind of like deep and cool stuff, you know. You don't have to be so restrictive of, you know, worrying about profit and immediately. You want to be able to ha make good development stuff. So tell me about... Is this the actual website? Is it Fraunhofer? Is that, or is that just, what is the name of the company again? Fraunhofer FEP. So the oh, it's Fraunhofer FEP. FEP. Yeah, we have 70 institutes and all those different stuff. <laughs> so it's important to, to know the abbreviation be, be, uh, yeah, behind Fraunhofer. So the, the website is www.fep.fraunhofer.de. Okay, awesome. 
I, I flew through uh, Frankfurt just for the first time ever a few months ago. Had a it was I had a good visit for the short time I was in Germany. <laughs> next time maybe <laughs> next time maybe I'll be get to stay for a few days. But uh, yeah, come to Dresden. It's a nice little city. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in and showing this off. We appreciate it. And uh, everyone, make sure you get over to fep.fraunhofer.de. Outstanding. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for coming.